how you doing? Welcome to my channel. I'm the Emperor of the Universe, of course. AKA Bobby. How's it going? Well, fortunately, in Mount Olympus, there's a big old jacuzzi bubbly bath that I just soaked in with some Dr. Teal's Himalayan sea salt and some other essential oils. I don't know, but hey, man, talk about luxury, right? Daddy needed it. Doing better, shaved up, all shiny, kind of. Anyway, I want to talk about my dad real quick. This it just struck me that I'm sitting there underneath my vehicle, you know, changing the oil while my dad's back supervising, doing his thing, doing a great job, by the way. And I just brought me back to when I was a child, when I was like 11, 10, or 11. <clears throat> Gifted is the word term we use in a child like me. But mechanically, it just, uh, I feel bad for my dad too, because he tried. He said, I'm going to teach you about the engine. He just got all excited, right? I'm the bookworm. When I was a kid, I was a bookworm. I loved reading. I was. I didn't have glasses, but I might as well have. You know, very Harry Pottery kind of. I loved reading. I mean, I read the whole Hobbit trilogy in a week, you know. I'm a little kid, right? So I just love that. that was good I would have read it, keep reading, reading it, but there were other books I could read too. They had a, they had a whole, my stepmom had a whole, um, you know, collection of books. And these books were really beautiful with um, illustrations and all this other stuff And my stepsister has, and I really wanted them over there. Anyway, but there was all really good books, like King Arthur, Arabian Nights, Robin Hood, all these really, and I just loved them. I just absorbed. So here's my dad, right? He's popping the hood and talking about the engine, the combustible engine. And, and I just got this glossed look over my face. I feel bad too because I just had no fucking interest, like I said earlier. Didn't even click. Girls, they clicked. I think at the time I was crushing on this girl named Jill. It was a Julie Fuentes. She was cute too. But what? I was in like fifth grade, whatever. So yeah, anyway, it wasn't exactly. Oh, I was like. There's a, there's a video, uh, Fresh Prince, you know, Will Smith, when um, parents just don't understand, right? And he was all dressed up like a geek, I mean, butterfly collars. I had blue bell bottoms. Nobody had blue bell bottoms. It was just ridiculous. Even I just, she, my stepmom was me. She dressed me like a total idiot. And I had to dress, I mean, I wasn't going to go naked, right? So I wasn't a player at that point, so I was crushing on these girls. So I liked girls and I loved reading, but I just didn't, I could care less about cars. I loved must. I thought Mustangs were hot looking and all that stuff, but yeah, just, I didn't drive till I was 27. And I lived in the city most of my time, so it was just, I never drove. It was weird, but yeah, finally broke out and drove when I, you know, when I became a daddy, so I had to make sure my son was taken care of so I could drive places. So I, anyway, the point is, I thought it was really kind of neat that, you know, whether I like it or, or my dad liked it or not, it's, you know, I came around to being kind of a mechanic. I can do s spark plugs and stuff like that. And, you know, I don't, I don't think I can rebuild a carburetor. I'm not there yet, but I'm understanding the mechanics of it. I'm more like a fabricator. I would love to do one of those shows where you just build crazy things out of, you know, welding and stuff like that. Yeah, that's my cup of tea, man. Because I love doing sculptures and, and there's like, People that basically they're they're a work of arts, man. Cars can be work of arts when you do them right, you know. <laughs> I digress. I love art. I love anything that has to do with art, and that means cars. And I appreciate I appreciate cars way more than I did when I was a kid. I was way I think I was way into girls so much that cars I could give a shit. But now I'm really appreciating vehicles and what they can actually offer you as far as like longevity and distance and reliability that some partners can't provide, unfortunately. But I digress again. I'm the emperor, baby. I can do what I want. Anyway, I love you. God loves you. And the universe is just crazy about you. So have a wonderful day. And yeah, see what happens. I'll see you tomorrow, buddy.